Hi, my name is Dr. Segler, and as a podiatrist in San Francisco, pain in the big toe joint is one of the most common things that we see. Although people will often think that this is either gout or a bunion, many times it's actually arthritis in the big toe joint that's keeping them from walking on the beach, running, or other activities that they might otherwise enjoy. Of course, with this patient, as soon as we take an x-ray, it's easy to tell that this patient has arthritis within the big toe joint that's actually causing all of the pain and discomfort. Patients often wonder what exactly podiatrists are looking at when they're staring at all those x-rays of feet. In this case, you can see a big empty space on the joint at the left side of the screen, which is actually where the cartilage is. There are no empty spaces on x-ray. By comparison, when you look at the joint on the right, which is actually the big toe joint, you can tell that there's bone on bone. There's just no space between those two bones, which means that there's no cartilage at all providing cushioning between those bones. This patient was actually taken to surgery because she had significant pain in the big toe joint that had not gotten better with other treatments. As soon as we got into surgery, we were able to confirm what we had suspected on x-ray. At the center of the joint, where you can see that bone sticking out of the surgical incision, there's an area of raw bone which is orangish in color. That's where the cartilage has been worn away. You can still see some cartilage remaining on the sides of the joint, but the cartilage in the middle has just completely eroded away, and now that raw bone is just grinding away within that joint and causing this patient's pain. Given the amount of damage that we suspected was done to this joint, the patient had already agreed to have a joint resurfacing procedure. This is a form of joint replacement, but only one side of the joint is replaced because the articular cartilage on the other side of the joint is actually still okay and still usable. What you can see being done in this case is that we've actually drilled a small hole into the bone which will serve as a uh, receptacle for the joint resurfacing implant. In addition to placing the anchor in the end of the bone that's actually going to hold the implant in place, we also have to prepare the end of that bone and make sure that it's smooth and that joint will move appropriately once the implant has been installed. The final steps of the joint replacement surgery just involve making sure that we get exactly the right size of implant and inserting it into that anchor that's already been installed into the end of the metatarsal bone. Now that the implant has actually been installed and before we close the incision, you can see this shiny, smooth metal implant in the end of the bone. This will protect the end of the bone and provide a smooth surface to glide back and forth when the patient walks where there used to be all of that damaged cartilage. While still in the operating room, we take x-rays. With those x-rays, we can then verify the appropriate position of the implant within the big toe joint. Here you can see that implant anchored securely within the end of the metatarsal bone. Keep in mind that the vast majority of this implant is actually buried within the bone and there's only a very small surface that's exposed just enough to allow the big toe joint to move the way that it should. Surgery to replace the big toe joint when it's become painful and arthritic can provide a huge amount of relief for patients who like to get back to activity. And that, of course, is the goal. We want to make sure that once your surgery is healed, that you can get back to whatever activities you enjoy, whether it's hiking, running, or just walking on the beach.